Hey YouTube, I'm back again, and this time we're going to talk about the reboot of All My Children. And I have got some strong feelings about this. Although I can't say that I'm a long time viewer really, I actually just started watching it in maybe 2005 or 2006 on a dedicated level. I mean, I'd seen it before that because my mom watched it for years and years, but of my own accord I got into it around 2006 or so, but regardless. The new All My Children, I haven't quite figured out... I mean, it's obviously some sort of future verse, but they don't specify what year specifically it is. I mean, I can't tell if it's still supposed to be 2013 and the kids have just aged that much, which... No, um, they were little ass kids and now they're teenagers and in college, so no, that doesn't really add up, right? Or if it's supposed to be in the future, like 2016, 2018, some shit like that, I don't even know, but if it's the latter, that's really funny because they're claiming shit like Honey Boo Boo is still on the air and there's no way it's gonna last that long and things like One Direction are still the hot band, I'm like, yeah. No, not even, not even, but it makes me laugh every damn time they, like, try to throw pop culture from today in there and try to make it seem like it's gonna be relevant in the future, and it just isn't. But, anyway, so that's a tiny, tiny detail. The main thing is that they, like, focus most of it on the kids now, which is understandable. They're trying to bring in a younger audience, and I get it, but... They ought to be, like, giving more attention as well. Not all of it, but maybe half and half, like, to the older characters that are well-established and all. I mean, we still haven't seen freaking Erica Kane. What is All My Children without Erica Kane? Honest to God. I mean, you can't really recast somebody like that. It's gotta be Susan Lucci, so unless she's on board, yeah, you can't really bring in Erica. I get that, but... We have Adam Chandler... So I'm happy for that. I would like even more to see Stuart, seeing as they brought him back like three freaking episodes before they cancelled it before, but that's neither here nor there. But I would love to freaking see Stuart on it again, because I adored him, even though it's the same guy, but that's beside the point. So they've got him, they've got Dixie, and then they started recasting people, like J.R., the new guy playing J.R. is a total fucking pussy, and they've rewritten him. Also, t play him as a pussy, but, yeah. <laughs> I just... I'm not buying it. It doesn't feel like JR to me, but, yeah. Then AJ's, like, 17 or some shit now, and he was, like, 5 when the show ended. But, hey, not supposed to notice that. And Miranda's about the same age, and I don't know if they're going out or if they're friends with benefits or what the fuck they are, but... Yeah, there's, like, definite sexual tension between those two, which is just freaking awkward when the last time we saw them, they were little-ass kids, and now they're teenagers, and they're, like, ready to bang each other. But hey, not supposed to think about that either. And then they brought back Pete Cortland is, like, this total hottie dude when he was, like, a big geek before, and I'm like, how is this even the same guy? I mean, I get recasts, but it's just really bizarre to me, I don't know, but, um, so there's that, and there's, like, some new chick that I haven't quite figured out what her back history is, I don't know if she's supposed to be, like, David's long-lost kid, or where the hell she came from, or if the strange man she keeps hallucinating is, like, her birth father or some shit, she doesn't even know who her parents are, so, it's anybody's guess, and... Apparently they fucking killed off Marissa. I am pissed. I mean, I had been hoping that maybe they would hook back up Bianca and Marissa because I loved them together. Not as much as I loved Bianca and Zarf together, but any hopes that that one coming back are probably out the window. Even though that was the entire reason I started watching the show was because of the Zarf storyline, the Zarf Zoe thing. I mean, even if they couldn't get Jeffrey Carlson back on board, they could bring in a chick and be like, oh, hey, post-op now, and he's a chick now, like, he always wanted to be, and then carry on from there and make her sh uh, hook back up with Bianca. But I am happy that they have Eden Regal back as Bianca, because she was the other main reason that I watched the show and why I stopped watching the show when they got rid of her. 
yeah, I wasn't buying the recast Bianca. It just not the same for me, and I just don't give a shit about the other one. So, regardless, um, so there's that. They haven't shown Gabby. They haven't shown a bunch of people, so I don't know if they're just written out or if they're bringing them in later or what they're doing. It's very strange. But I will note that Jesse and Angie, why can they never fucking let them be happy for like five seconds? Ever. Like, they were all freaking happy when it was like the first episode, so I thought, oh, they're finally gonna get a break. Yeah, no, their kid Cassandra's been like sold into sex slavery or some shit, or kidnapped into it, I don't even know, but yeah, now she's being held hostage or ransom or some crap, and God only knows where that line's going, but that one seems to be taking precedent over everything else now since they scaled back the episodes to two a freaking week which is bullshit they had claimed originally it was because people couldn't keep up with that many episodes which i call series bull crap on because dedicated viewers are used to five episodes a week at an hour long a piece these are 20 minute episodes if you can't keep up with that maybe you shouldn't be watching that's all i have to say about that but regardless now it comes out that there's um I don't know if it's a writer's strike or some sort of strike, effective apparently as of today, and they've got like 40 episodes backlogged, so it's going to keep going into September, and if they haven't reached a resolution, I guess it's done for at that point, which would really suck after waiting all this time to get the show back. We finally do, and then just as quickly as it came back, it's gone. I mean, what the hell's with that, right? But, yeah... That said, they've, like, dug deep into the archives to bring back a really fucking obscure character that I did not even know existed because he was on the show before I was even born. Billy Clyde Tuggle. I, like, laughed my fucking ass off the first time they showed him on the screen. Actually, no, that's a lie. Every time they've shown him, I've laughed my friggin' ass off because he's so over-the-top ridiculous. He's, like... I don't know if he's Mormon or what the hell he's supposed to be, but he's like super uber religious even though he runs a friggin' whorehouse and tries to defend it in the name of God. But hey, whatever, not judging, like honest to God, not judging, I don't even care. But I didn't know who the fuck this guy was, so I started asking around and was like, is this somebody they made up that's just really bizarre for the show or did he used to be on it or what even is going on there. So I asked a bunch of uh, family members of mine that have been longtime viewers of the show, and my grandma was like, oh my god, him? Bad man! Bad mad man! And I was like, the fuck did he do? And she's just like, I don't remember, but it was bad. He was a really bad man, so... Okay, that of course, like, merited me going to Google this dude, which I probably should have just done in the first place, truth be told, but I didn't, because I didn't think of it till then, but... So I did, and found out he has, like, a laundry list a mile long of crimes he committed from, like, the 70s onward until he had, like, fallen off a bridge and everybody thought he was dead. But hey, guess what? He's not dead! Um, <laughs> so now he's back with a vengeance or some shit. I don't really know what exactly he wants, but yeah, he's only been on it for a week or so. I can't really say much about him because I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I think that covers just about all the storylines that are currently in this one. Oh yeah, they made it look like Tad was dead, but then they made it so he wasn't. Yeah, they kept insinuating like the grave was Tad's, and then, oh, by the way, no, that's Marissa. And, fuck, I don't even know. It's so confusing getting into it. Now that I feel like I'm finally getting some sort of a foothold on it, finding out now there's a strike, I'm like, great. I don't seem to have very good luck with shows that I like going into writer strikes because every fucking time they do, it seems to be the kiss of death and they're gone, next thing I know. Last one that this happened with was Pushing Daisies, and this is exactly why I don't usually fucking watch modern shows because as soon as I get attached, that's it, they're gone, they're cancelled every damn time. It's like... Why do I even bother watching anything if it's still on the air? I'll just wait till it's cancelled and then start watching it, because at least then I won't feel like I fucking cursed it. But, yeah, and the other one that it happened with was also by the same makers of Pushing Daisies years before that, but I didn't find out till after the fact that they were even related. But there's that. Got into All My Children. That got cancelled. Got into a few of the other soaps. They got cancelled. I'm just like, 
you know what, maybe I shouldn't watch modern TV. I like classic TV. I'll just stick with that. I'm good. But, um, yeah, so I started feeling like this one will probably be around for at least a while because it's brand new and it's getting good viewership and stuff. <sighs> yeah, that may be out the window now for all I fucking know. Which, yeah, as you can tell, I am not happy about this if they're going to cancel it because... I'm just starting to get into it. They're making it interesting, and now, ah, by the way, nope, yoink, pulling the rug right out from under us that are, like, getting attached to the show, which I'm not thrilled about, so. I don't know. If any of you guys have been watching it, if you'd leave your thoughts in the comments, I would love to hear what you guys are thinking about it. Uh, Storylines, characters, the writer's right, fucking anything you freaking feel like. I would love to hear what you've got to say about it, so. Have at it, guys.